Hello! Welcome to our English lesson. Up until now we talked about suffixes. So I hope that you remembered everything you need to know about suffixes because today we are going to talk about prefixes. Hmm, what do you think? Where's the difference? Of course, in the, the very name of it. So there is suffix and there is prefix. Okay? So first of all, we are going to have a short warm-up activity where you are going to get familiar with the prefix on. You've probably seen the words that have prefix on. What do you think when you look at these four words, what do all of them have in common? There is unhappy, uncover, unkind, unable. Of course, it's obvious that they all begin with the prefix un. Okay? So, what does the prefix un mean then? If I say I'm very unhappy with this situation right now, it means I'm not happy, of course. If I say he's very unkind to the older, we are going to say that he's not kind. Or please uncover that uh, shield to take a cover off something, okay? So when we use the prefix un, it actually means not or the opposite of something, okay? So if you have, for example, a word comfortable, how can you make a new word by adding a prefix un? Simply uncomfortable. Or you have a word certain, we can make a new word by adding un and we then have uncertain. If you have the word fair, you can say, oh, it's so unfair when you add un as the prefix. So, think about the sentences you can make by using these words with the prefix un. Let's see. These are some more examples that you can use by uh, adding the prefix un. For example, unusual or untrue, unhealthy, unclear. Okay? So, think about more examples that you can make. Okay, we have here four sentences with the missing uh, words that we are going to put in the correct place. All of these missing words have the prefix un. Let's see. Unhappy. Where could it go? Aha, huh. I was very unhappy when my friend moved schools. Okay. Unkind. It is unkind to call people names. It's very unkind. Mm -hmm. It is unhealthy to eat too much chocolate. Have this in mind all the time. At Christmas, I unwrap my presents. Okay? Simple. Okay? So, if you understood this part, the beginning of the lesson, now we are going to discuss the prefixes in general. But, of course, the, the important thing is to know which prefixes we are going to learn about. Today, we learn about prefixes this, miss, and, of course, un. Okay, first of all, we have to know what is a prefix. When you take a look again at this miss and un, you know that this goes before the main part of a word. So a prefix is added to the beginning of a word to make a new word, right? Most prefixes are added to the beginning of root words without any changes in spelling. That's an important part. 
So this is an example how we make new words. Prefix this, miss, an. There is a root word, meaning the main part of the word. Connect, take, cover. And when we make a new word, prefix plus root word, it goes like this. Disconnect, mistake, uncover. Okay? Pay attention. That's an important part. This and miss are only with one S. Don't write double S. That's very important, okay? So, why do we learn prefixes? Simply because when we know the meaning of a prefix, we then know, and we can, of course, uh, better understand the meaning of the new word that has it in itself, okay? So we have to know what is the meaning of each and every prefix, prefix that we use, okay? Let's see. First of all, what does the prefix this mean? If I have dislike, this means do not like something. I dislike your clothes, for example. Disconnect, break a connection so it is not connected anymore. Disobey, do not follow a command. For example, he disobeys the rules, which is wrong, of course. So this as a prefix means not or the opposite of, okay? Now let's see what about miss prefix. Think about the words that you can make by using miss as a prefix. For example, mistake or something else. Let's see the meaning. Mistake. Do something wrong. Of course, you know this word, so you, you know how to, uh, to, to apply it. Misread. Meaning read something wrongly. Misplace. Put something in the wrong place. Or, for example, mis mispronounce some word. Meaning pronounce it wrongly. So, the conclusion is that the prefix miss means wrong or false, okay? Can we move on to the, the un as a prefix? Think about the words that you can make by using un as a prefix, with, with un as a prefix. For example, uncover or something else. When we say unhappy, it means not happy. If you say unkind, that means not kind. If you say uncover, it means to take a cover off so it's not covered anymore. Or when we say unable, meaning we are not able to do something, okay? And so on. Okay, so the meaning of un is not, okay? Now, for you to do you have the task of prefix sort. So these are the words that you're going to put with the correct prefix, un, miss, and dis. But pay attention, some of these words can have more than one prefix, okay? And think about the meaning, because whenever we do something like this, such as prefix or suffix, we have to know the meaning of it. Because when you know this, you can understand new words that you can make, okay? And now, for the end of the lesson, before we wrap up everything we did, we are going to take, uh, to play a little game, a little quiz, let's say. So, uncover, see, another prefix, these cards to find the prefix, to, a, to match the prefix to a root word to make a new word. Okay, let's see, Th this, tie, this tie, I don't think it's correct, let's try again, this, okay, mm -hmm. disconnect, 
Yes, it could be used like this. Uh, my internet got disconnected suddenly. Always a problem. Okay. Un tie, untie your shoelaces, for example. Okay, it could be used like this. And let's say stake, mm -hmm. mistake. Okay, but pay attention. When you write mistake, there is no double S. Okay, only one S. Okay, so I hope that this was clear enough for you to do your task because we are, of course, going to talk more about this later on. This is for now the basic things you have to know about prefixes as well as we learned about suffixes. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Bye!